This video assumes that you've already watched the setting up your digital camera adapter video and have your camera correctly mounted on the scope. Hi, my name is Steve Ingram and I'm here to get you off on the right foot with your Zeiss digiscoping rig, your Dioscope and the digital camera adapter, the DCA, and a small compact digital camera or even a DSLR. With just a little practice, you'll be able to go out in the field and bring back images like these. Sharp, intimate, close-up, wonderful images of the wildlife that you encounter in the field. With today's digital compacts, you can even capture full motion HD video. There's nothing like it to show off the beauty of the creatures that you come in contact with in the field. We'll begin with basic camera settings in just a moment, but before that, let me give you a tip. When you start out, practice on the easy stuff. Don't go after birds like I've been showing you pictures of. Find a big bird, like a great blue heron, that stands still and gives you a chance to get focused and take your first pictures. Or the common birds, like the gulls you find around on the beach. Or even practice on wildflowers in your garden. They provide nice stationary subjects for your practice. Remember, practice on the easy stuff. So let's talk about the basic camera settings. All cameras are different, but the same set of basic settings will get you started. Your controls may be in a menu system controlled by buttons on the back of the camera, or in addition, you may have a dial on top of the camera that allows you to set certain functions. Whatever your camera is like, the first step is to set it on program, not auto. There are times when auto exposure just won't be able to handle the full range of tones in the image. Birds, white birds on a sunny day are a special problem. There you want to be able to use exposure compensation, which is only available in the program setting. You will be able to use certain auto features like auto white balance. Set your flash so that it doesn't fire. If you have a continuous setting that takes one picture after another as long as you hold the shutter down, set it at that. For focus, Set it in the center of the frame and use the smallest setting you can, center focus or a small frame. If your camera has a continuous focus option or a servo autofocus, set it for that. That'll make your life simpler in the field. Finally, I use center weighted metering. On rare occasions, when the bird or the animal is small in the frame, spot metering might be a better choice. These are good settings to start with. As you gain more experience in the field, you'll want to experiment with the full range of settings that your camera offers. To go over that once more, that would be program setting for the times you want to use exposure compensation auto white balance, flash off, continuous or sequential shooting, center or spot autofocus, continuous or servo autofocus, center or spot auto exposure. So you have your camera set up. Now before we go on to taking your first picture, I'm going to give you one more tip. Look at this shutter release. It's a remote cable release, a universal bracket that holds a standard camera cable release over the shutter button of a point-and-shoot camera. You'll notice that I've attached it to the bottom of my DCA with a wing nut. Mine is from srbgreitern.com in England. Now let's take our first picture. Swing the camera out of the way so that you can focus. You're always going to focus using the eyepiece of the scope. Find your bird. Establish the best focus you possibly can. Then swing the camera back in, turn it on if necessary. You may have to adjust it a little to get the bird or the animal back in the center. You may have to zoom the camera to get rid of the vignetting. 
then press the shutter halfway so it focuses through the eyepiece, and then take your picture. If the bird or animal moves, you'll need to refocus. Slide the camera back away from the eyepiece, swing it out of the way. Refocus, swing the camera back in, drop it down against the stop, and then press the shutter halfway, and take your picture. Letting the camera find focus through the eyepiece is important. You want to press the shutter halfway until you see the focus indicator, and then take the picture. Once more, press the shutter halfway until you see the focus indicator, and only then take your picture. Should you zoom the scope, you'll need to refocus. Sometimes even when you zoom the camera. So you'll loosen the screw, pull the camera back, slide it out of the way, refocus as needed, flip the camera back in, loosen, drop it down against the stop, press the shutter halfway until it achieves focus, and then take your picture. So you've taken your first pictures with your Zeiss digiscoping rig. Soon you'll be bringing back pictures like these, of the birds and the animals that you encounter in the field. Digiscoping is a lot of fun. It does take some practice and some patience, but you've made a good start by purchasing the Zeiss Dioscope and the digital camera adapter. All that's left now is some practice and the fun.